greatness. In sports, it's a term that in one sense can only be measured over time. A player becomes a Hall of Famer and a team becomes a dynasty only after years of performing at a high level. But at any given moment in the NBA, the mission of any given player is simpler, played out in the here and now. Put the ball in the basket or turn that ball the other way. Sometimes it takes five men to get the job done. That's basketball. That's basketball. That's teamwork. Sometimes one man has to rise above on his own. It can be a question of raw talent or of pure desire. And it can happen in the seventh game of the NBA Finals. And there they go. They won it again. Or in the opening seconds of an early season game. In this sense, greatness can present itself in an instant. It's all over. A single play can become a defining image of how high a player can reach. And the greatest plays can represent the inspiration for the next generation of NBA stars and fans. The elements of greatness, like skill, timing, or the importance of the situation, work together in different ways to make every great moment unique. Blocked shots, great hustle, teamwork, and buzzer beaters all can take their place as historic plays based on the different skills they require. A hundred great plays could be compiled a hundred ways. One would be 10 plays, in 10 different categories. And that is what follows. In the NBA's formative years, almost all the action took place below the rim. Only the rare big man like George Mikan of the Minneapolis Lakers would dare take to the air to dunk the basketball. Like a baby taking his first steps, the league's early stars were learning to navigate a new dimension. I would take two or three dribbles, and that was about the extent of it. If I took four, I'd kick it up in the, in the stand somewhere. Elgin Baylor, who debuted in 1958, became the first to master the skies. Nobody changed basketball more than Elgin Baylor. Baylor would just blow your socks off. You never seen anything like that before. That, that he was an, a forerunner of everything that came thereafter. In the 1970s, Dr. J. Julius Irving built on Baylor's foundation. Amazing! Turning the slam dunk into an art form. I think to be a, a great a, a superstar who is creative and to be a change agent in, in your sport, you really can't put any limitations on what you might do. The doctor gave way to a generation of showmen including Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight film. Dominique, no way to block that. Oh, what a move by Dominique. Great thing about Dominique was every game, during the game at some point, I would say, man, he can't top that one. Wilkins on the loose, that's freaky. And then the next game, I'll be saying, man, he can't top that one. He topped his moves every game. Soon, the dunk would evolve again in the hands of Michael Jordan. He just makes you wish that for one day and for one eight, ten seconds that you could fly in the air. I don't believe what I just saw! I saw man fly! Once the NBA was airborne, there was no turning back. And though its roots are still in the ground, the game will forever flower somewhere in the stratosphere. I just shake my head and I say, God, this is not the game we played 30 years ago. It's been said often enough that, you know, the game today is being played above the rim. He was with the birds, flying and soaring to the rack. Taking him out as a sub yet. Here we got a dribble drive, change of direction by Brian Slam. 
jumped out. Woo! I think that's what the fans came to see. And you talk about elevation. Chick, he went up to the rafters before he decided to put somebody on a poster. That's the eighth rebound already. Barkley, nobody cut him off. Barkley went all the way for the slam. They call that coast to coast. And picked up by Drexler. Here he comes. Fakes it all the way. And gets it home. Coast to coast by Drexler. Slide the glide and look the gods below. Mercy nurse. Goes to the foot race and here he comes. Doctor looks for daylight. With meaning, he took that to the hoop. Julia serving on his approach pass to the takeoff. About 12 feet from the basket. Look at him right up and over Gross. We're down. There are 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Starks, yes! What a move by Starks, who was able to sky to the basket. Starks goes, oh, so big. What a spectacular move. They swarm him in that double. They do on the baseline. Now Kemp going to the hoop. Five seconds remaining in the game. 13 on the shot clock. Down low for Dominique. Baseline drive. Dominique. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that jam? I don't know how he did that. Dominique. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the most fantastic dunks of all time. Malone passes. Deflected. Going to be stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. Here he comes. Ray rocked the baby to sleep and slam dunk. The doctor made a sensational play. The slam, he just puffed in his hand and swung that baby way around. Jordan trying to shoot on the start. Michael Jordan at his best. There's very few people on this planet that can do this. He's just simply amazing.